welcome my name is Ibrahim Ali Kamara thank you for subscribing sharing and liking my videos and today's video will be based on internal configuration with physical switches these are the two switches we are going to use to configure internal as you can see we have four Ethernet cable here one two three four Ethernet cable and we are using port 17 19 20 and 22 because some of the ports in this switch uh, is having some issues so i have select port 17 19 20 and 22. so guys as you can see from our previous video i told you guys that if we connect let's say for example two cable between two switches or two or four cables now we have connect two uh, four cable between these two switches what spanning tree is doing now see Spanning tree now is blocking port 19, 20, and 22. You can see the amper light, right? Only port 17 among the, these four cables is transfer is forwarding traffic from switch 1 to switch 2. Port 19, 20, and 22 is being blocked by spanning tree. So this spanning tree is blocking all these three ports. So we have connect four Ethernet cables between these two switches, but only this port port 917 this one cable is transferring traffic so you see that's why implementing it at tunnel between two switches is very very handy because now if we if we configure now it at tunnel between these two switches with any of the protocol example we have the pack p protocol which is the cisco preparatory and we have the lag p which is the industry standard definitely what will happen we will not see any of this amper light this amper light that we are seeing, all of them will turn green, telling us that that we have bundled these cables to one. Logically, now spanning tree will see it as one, and all this amper light will turn to green. All these four cables will be forwarding frame. The benefit of configuring it a tunnel is that this will allow higher bandwidth between the switches. It will create redundancy link and also provide load balancing between these two switches we are seeing so now let's go to the cli and configure it a tunnel between these two switches so this is switch one and switch one now let's create now it a tunnel between switch one and switch two but before we create switch uh it a tunnel i want us to do some show run commands Let's see how spanning tree behave presently with, within these two switches. Now we move to um, enable. Let's use the command show spanning tree. With this command now, show spanning tree, let's see. So now we can see that interface F0 slash 17 f0 slash 19 f0 slash 20 and f0 slash 22 they are both connected to switch 2 now see what i was talking about you see now when you see f0 slash 17 is the root for this switch but f0 slash 17 is only is the only interface forwarding now in the 19 20 and 22 all block you can see this alternate block f0 slash 19 alternate block f0 slash 20 alternate block f0 slash 22 alternate block you see only we have connect four ethernet cable between switch one and switch two but see something spanning tree is blocking all these three ethernet cables only one is forwarding and which is which is very very bad so we don't want short configuration short stuff happening within our network so to prevent this we need to create what we call it a tunnel as from our previous video we already know that we need to use two protocols within this protocol either we use the pack p which is the port aggregation protocol or we use the lag p which is the link aggregation protocol we already know that the pack p is the cisco preparatory and the lag p is the industry standard so the benefits of creating a tunnel is that 
This will allow higher bandwidth between these two switches, switch 1 and switch 2, at the same time create redundancy links between them and provide load balancing. So that's why ETA tunnel is very, very essential to be imp to implement it within our networks today. So now let's let's configure ETA tunnel. But let's use the Cisco preparatory method, okay, between these two switches. So for now, we go to the config terminal, the config T, as the cool kid do it, config T or config terminal. From this global configuration mode, now we need to go to the interface configuration mode of this. We need to arrange the F0 slash 17, 19, 22, and 20. We need to go to their interface before we create what we call ETA tunnel using the protocol and uh, the Cisco preparatory protocol, the lag P. So now let's range. We, we use the command interface range, interface range F0 slash 17, F0 slash 19, F0 slash 20, F0 slash 22. Now, as you can see, we are now in the interface range. You can see now, this is the interface range. From this interface range now, we can able to create it a tunnel. The command is channel tunnel group. Which group? Let's make this group one. Now the mode we are using, let's use because we are using the Cisco preparatory method uh, protocol, which is the PAC P. The 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 configuration is supposed to be one side supposed to be auto and the other side supposed to be desirable. So let's make this side auto. Definitely, we have created it a tunnel in switch one. So let's use some uh, some show command to see if the ETA tunnel is operating. Good end with this command show show it a tunnel brief summary the tunnel summary. We can see see guys you can see here now our group here is what group. Group one and the the, the port tunnel is PO1, but the flag we are seeing a flag here. This flag shows that SD. This SD flag is telling us that let's check the flag up SC layer two and the D capital D here is down. You see. And but the protocol here is pack P. So now see this the F0 slash the port is F0 slash 17. This flag shows I. If we check what I stand for, this is standalone. Meaning we have created a pack P protocol in this switch in switch one, but there is no other the other side we have not configured yet the other side, and even this layer 2 is down because this is just the first switch the second switch is you know is, we have not configured the pack p yet in the second switch when we configure it definitely we will see a different stuff here so now let's move to switch 2 and create the configuration in switch 2 in switch 2 let's before we before we configure it a tunnel let's do some show commands and see how span tree is behaving we say show span tree you see as i was saying these four it interfaces 17 17 19 20 and 22 we can see that this interface both this uh, the 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 four interfaces are forwarding but what's happening when we check uh, switch switch one switch one only one pack uh, one interface was forwarded while the tree is being blocked so meaning now these three interfaces will be forwarding frame to switch one but switch one will drop the those interfaces will be will be dropping the packet because they are alternately blocked only this interface the 17 interface will forward 
frame from this switch 2 to switch 1 that that frame will be forwarded so you see so we need to create now a tunnel from this other side so now we have we are using the cisco preparatory which is one side supposed to be auto and the other side supposed to be desirable now we go to the global configuration from the global configuration we go we need to use an interface range because before we create the the tatana we need to be in the interface of this f0 slash 17 19 and 20 but we don't need to do it one after the other we can range it with this command interface range interface range f0 slash 17 comma f0 slash 19 f0 slash 20 f0 slash 22 now within this interface range now we can execute the command channel group which group group one this you can make this group one too the mode is what let this side this side supposed to be desirable now we can end from here now let's execute some commands and see how how the spanning tree and it tunnel is operating we say show it tunnel summary with this command we can now see that see group one this is group one the port tunnel tunnel one now the flag have changed from sd now to su see su now su says here layer two in use now let's check the the protocol is pack p now we we'll go to the port now port 17 indicates now p instead of i now let's check the idp flag what p stand for this p stand for bundle bundle in port tunnel so now all this interface 17 19 20 and 22 have been bundled in the tunnel so now let's see in, in spanning to how spanning tree behave now say so show span now if we see from spanning tree perspective now we can now see the interface is being bundled now to po1 which is forwarding so now let's let's check in in switch one and see because switch one will have three interfaces that we are blocking now in switch one now let's execute the command show span so span it way guys as you can see now we now only have a root forwarding now po1 this the four interface has been bundled as one and it is forwarded now spanning tree now is seeing this as what as one logical interface so all the four interfaces will be forwarding frames so as you can see all the interface have turned to green yes both switch one and switch two the four interfaces we connected you can see the f0 slash 17 19 20 and 22 they are all green now they both these interfaces these four interfaces are forwarding every traffic they are receiving logically spanning tree is seeing them now as one interface so so please don't forget to subscribe like and share my video it's a motivation i love you guys let's keep on doing this love you